The vast majority of the global fleet of 737 MAX 8 and MAX 9 have served well since debuting in 2017 and 2018 respectively. Currently, however, certification issues persist with the shortest cabin 737 MAX 7 and stretched MAX 10. Airlines are eagerly waiting to get their first deliveries of these variants, more so the MAX 10. Unfortunately, it looks like further delays are pushing certification into 2026. We take a look at the specifics for today's video. The background to all of this is that the FAA granted Boeing a waiver for the previously operational MAX 8 and MAX 9 models until a solution could be found for engine anti-ice safety hazards previously flagged. Boeing initially sought a waiver for the MAX 7, which was awaiting final FAA approval, but when a door panel blew off an Alaska Airlines MAX 9 mid-air in January 2024, there was renewed scrutiny of certification conducted by the FAA. Boeing gave a statement to the Air Current regarding the status of the current engineering dilemma, saying, We are maturing a technical solution that includes design updates. The modifications would be included in the baseline certification of the 7377 and 737-10. We are finalizing our analysis and will present the information to the FAA. We will continue to work under their rigorous oversight to meet safety and regulatory requirements. Concerns have been raised about the engine anti-ice system on the 737 MAX, specifically regarding its potential to overheat the inlet during dry air conditions. The FAA issued warnings and directives in response, as did the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. The remedies so far include interim measures such as updating the airplane flight manual and master minimum equipment list. The CFM Leap 1B engine on the 737 MAX has also been a subject of scrutiny due to issues with the Load Reduction Device or LRD activation, which is a protective device in case of significant damage to the fan, such as large bird strikes. The LRD is a safety feature that reduces loads on the engine and structure, but its activation has been found in two cases to cause smoke to enter the cockpit or cabin due to oil leaks. This issue and investigation prompted software changes and ongoing efforts to mitigate the risk. The NTSB has raised concerns about the potential for smoke to enter the cockpit slash cabin, and both the FAA and EASA have issued safety advisories and bulletins. Boeing is developing a software modification to address the issue, potentially modifying the pressure regulating shutoff valve to close more quickly. The FAA has initiated an audit to assess the handling of the issue. So, what's your reaction to the MAX 7 and 10 certification delayed further? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.